มาเลเซียจะมีการเลือกตั้งในวันที่19พฤศจิกายนนะคะขณะนี้ก็มีความเป็นห่วงสำหรับคนที่ทำงานต่างถิ่นเพื่อให้ได้กลับไปเลือกตั้งมีโครงการประดมทุนเพื่อให้คนได้กลับบ้านไปเลือกตั้งค่ะติดตามในอาเซียนคอนเน็กกับคุณชิลิปนาคสมภพเราค่ะอาเซียนคอนเน็กวันนี้นะคะเราจะต่อสายตรงไปพูดคุยกับผู้สื่อข่าวจากประเทศมาเลเซียค่ะตอนนี้คุณยี่เพนะคะจากสำนักข่าวซินไชนิวส์อยู่ในสายกับเราแล้วค่ะมีเรื่องที่เกี่ยวกับการเลือกตั้งมาเลเซียนะคะมาเล่าให้ฟังค่ะ so the story today is also about the election right yes but uh, not about the politics but is an um, people-led uh, initiative that uh, helps the worker uh, the workers to raise their fund For the needing uh, financial aid to travel back to their constituency, because you know, right? Malaysia is Sabah Sarawak. Uh, we have the East Malaysia and the West Malaysia, right? It is difficult to uh, some voters to get back to Sabah, uh, the East Malaysia means Sabah Sarawak, and the flight fare is quite high after. The announcement of the uh, dissolutions of the parliaments. It's high because people know that once you dissolve the parliament, there will be election and people have to travel. Is that the case? Yes. This uh, actually uh, this um, initiative is calling the Undi Banjos. The Undi stands for the votes, and the Banjo will be uh, in Basa Malaysia will be the floods. Actually, uh, the general elections to predict to take place in the thick of Malaysia annual monsoon seasons. Mm. As you know, right, uh, the end of this year will be a heavy rains. After uh, from the mid of the November, right, and maybe this will might be led to big floods like Thailand, right. right? Yes, and it will be very difficult to travel if if it's yes. if that the case. I, I think this uh, initiative is quite uh, have some some to tackle the problems, uh, the issues like uh, fundraising and distributing the uh, monetary aid to the Malaysians who needs help to getting back home to work, mm. and maintaining a carpool ride sharing database to ease uh, transportation to the polls, verifying um, listing, helping to coordinate the flood relief. If there's really a uh, flood happening, mm. especially in the states in the uh, East Coast Peninsula like Pahang, uh, Terengganu, and Kelantan, do you guys usually have advanced ballot system where people vote before the actual date if they cannot make it on the actual date? So far, I didn't hear any uh, Plan B for voting. So everybody have to be. In their hometown, or where they are registered with the government yes. on the day yes. that uh, on the election day, so it's it's a matter of traveling around, and on top of the yes. uh, fares that will be expensive is the expected flood and monsoon yes. seasons. Yes, actually, this um, Undi Banjo will prioritize giving uh, help to the youth, first-time voters, and the university students. As we oh. know, right. This uh, general election will be the first election that's uh, in for the those eight uh, age uh, 18 to 20. Before this is uh, 21 and above. Ah, so you will yeah. hear more for the young voters this time. Yes. So uh, there was significantly increased 40 percent uh, following this uh, implementation of the policy of lowering the uh, voting age to 18 years old and the automatic. Water registration system, oh, wow. which is uh, come into effect last year. Okay, so if they don't have to go register themselves anymore, once their names are yes. in the system, they automatically have the right to vote. Yes. Are people excited about this coming up election, though? No. Why? Because the because the people is quite feel fed up with the two times uh, changing the government right in one elections right right. So, in another word, they're kind of bored with how politics is going right now. Yes, but I have to mention about this uh, Undi Banjo. Uh, actually, um, they have uh, initi- uh, They have uh, actually there's a rebranding uh, initiative. Right. Before this, they were calling the uh, Undi Rabu. 
before this, uh, I mean the last elections, uh, election 14, uh, actually they raised up around 200k Malaysia ringgit and helped more about 3,000 Malaysians to be subsidized to travel back to their constituency. Wow. It yes. is, it's something very practical, I would say, very useful. Yes, but that's the last year, uh, last uh, elections. Right. This time, uh, for now, as reported, the fundraise uh, so far less than 10,000 ringgit. Oh. So I would say there's the differences with uh, people is not quite exciting with this right. time. We'll see because we still have several weeks until the date, right? Yes, uh, I think from now uh, there's still three weeks, if not mistaken. Okay, and I guess we might be able to talk to you one more time before then, or maybe you'll be too busy with the election and we'll talk to you after when you guys get the new government. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> Thank I'll you wait very for much. Your call. Okay, thank, thank you very much you. for the story today. ก็เป็นเรื่องราวที่น่าสนใจนะคะของประเทศมาเลเซียที่กําลังเตรียมตัวนะคะจะเลือกตั้งค่ะก็เป็นเรื่องที่น่าแปลกใจนะที่คุณแพรบอกว่าคนส่วนใหญ่เขาไม่ค่อยตื่นเต้นแล้วเพราะว่าเขาเริ่มเบื่อกับการเมืองนะคะแต่อย่างไรก็ตามตื่นเต้นหรือไม่ตื่นเต้นนะคะมาแน่วันเลือกตั้ง19พฤศจิกาค่ะและนั่นคือทั้งหมดในอาเซียนคอนเนควันนี้ค่ะ